Justin, have you got a team or a uh, final 12 yet? Yep. You want to roll it out for us? Nope. <laughs> Same as last time. We want to keep England guessing as long as we can. Uh, we're pretty clear. The team that we think will win this next test match. And uh, we'll see that on the, when the toss goes up, I reckon. Unless you can ask Paney the same question, he gives it away. But um, at this stage, we're pretty clear we're going to play. Sorry about that. Um, uh, England have brought in a, a quick bowler and a left arm spinner. Will that make any difference to Steve Smith? I hope not. Um, they've also got another left arm swing bowler as well. Who, yeah, in the 12. So he'll be not he will be prepared for that. Joff Rach, uh, really curious and um, interested to see how he goes. He hasn't played much white ball, uh, red ball cricket. He's played a lot of white ball cricket. He's obviously got a great temperament. He's an incredible athlete. But Test cricket is very different than white ball cricket. So his, our plans to him will be no different than they were going to be against James Anderson or or Broad, Wokes, um, Ben Stokes, well, good cricketer Ben Stokes. Um, but our plans will be exactly the same. We're the same with uh, Leach compared to um, Mowen. Our plans will be the same, obviously a bit different. Um, but I'm sure Steve Smith and all our batters will be rehearsing how they should play against those guys. I mean, the, the, the numbers might suggest that Steve's got a, a possible area of weakness against left arm spin. Is that, is that just one of those things or, or what? Do you buy into that? No, I don't buy into it. Um, he's got this, uh, I said after the last test, I've said, probably said it for a long time, he's got this incredible ability to solve problems. So I'm sure he'll be thinking a lot about how he's going to play um, all the new bowlers coming in. Um, I hope all our batters are doing the same thing, but he's a good player and they usually have a way of working it out. Uh, Justin, there's a huge amount of expectation on Joffre Archer's shoulders. He's obviously very inexperienced. This will be his test debut as well. Can that work for you? hope so. hope it works for us. Um, but we also know we've seen what a good cricketer he is. So we'll respect him. And as I said, I'm really curious, like everyone, to see how he's going to go in red ball cricket. And hopefully our guys have got the answers for whatever he's got to dish up to us. What's your plan? Have you done anything differently to, to prepare for him? For, for, for Jofra? Yeah. No, most of our guys have played him a bit before. We've seen white ball cricket or I think Cameron Bancroft said he played him a couple of years ago in a county game. So most of our guys have seen him before uh, and it'll be up to the individuals actually, not so much our game plan against him. They're all, it's the same for all of the in test cricket, get them into their second and third and fourth spells. It's not, that's just that's significant not only for this se this test match but also for the whole series so and I'm sure England will be doing exactly the same against our bowlers um, so but individually they all have their different game plans whether they're left-handed right-handed the con different conditions the fields they're likely to set all our batters or our expectations they'll be ready and and be organized in their minds for how they're going to play face him and the rest of England's attack and will that be the key question in terms of Archer will he have that mental toughness and Stamina, to, to I think it's like every test cricketer. That, that's the that's the question in test cricket. Have you got the mental toughness? Have you got the physical um, endurance to to play well in test cricket? So it's not just him. It's for, for the 22 guys out there. It'll be exactly the same questions asked. Andrew, take it back to Yeah, it's nice. It's nice to see a smiling, a friendly face. Haven't seen too many over here, so it's nice to see holding the Aussie flag. He's a ripping bloke. You can never miss him because of the fancy shirts he wears. Uh, but so he's look. You, you just love seeing those people who are so like the Barmy Army. They're so dedicated to England. You respect and admire it, don't you? It's the same with Lukey. They're so dedicated to the Australian cricket team. You respect and admire. It puts a smile on your face. I think he's one of the very few people who's been asked to sing the team song with us, in, I think in his 100th test match of, of watching. So he's been in the dress, he's been around for a long time, he's a ripping bloke, and it's nice to see him around the group. Dean, Andrew, Stefan, Hugh, and Lizzie. <laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Test, you think that'll be up to hang over the top of that? 
oh, we were really pleased to win the first test, but we didn't come here to win the first test. We come to win the Ashes. So we we're going to focus on this test match. Uh, we're, we're very aware that England played without James Anderson as their best player, one of their best players. So we're aware of that. And uh, we got lucky. That's the truth of it. We got lucky with him not playing. He's a brilliant fast bowler. Like I got to say, he's an all-time great. So if he only bowls four overs for the match, we got lucky there. So we're aware of that. We know it's different conditions. We know there's different pressures. And we've got to just make sure we're right for this test match. Yeah, maybe. That's the, that's the brilliant thing about Test cricket. It's like a big game of chess, isn't it? And uh, I thought Siddle's batting in the first innings was probably the difference of the whole game. So to him to be able to fight through that, we know if you get to 300 in the first test of a first innings of a test match, you're always in the game. We were way behind that. To get to 270 and allow um, Steve Smith to have the partnership for one. So Siddle's innings, brilliant. And then Steve, Nathan Liner, was, he was on 85, I think when Nathan Lyon came, he ended up getting 140. So those bits, and that's why Test cricket's so so great to watch. Um, England fought hard for the first Test match. We got the better of them in the end, but the ball spun a lot as well. Gee, I didn't realise it was going to spin as much as it did, which was helps when you've got the best off spinner in the world. So, um, yeah, we, we, got, we got some fair bit of luck in the last Test match. Hopefully we get more this Test match. And, uh, but we'll, we'll just be focused on doing what we can to win it. Andrew? Uh, Justin, there was a fair amount of criticism of the Lords uh, wicket for the Ireland test last week. It seemed to be a couple of days out it's looking uh, rather flatter this time around. Do you mm. think that's um, partly going to play to your strength rather than England's? Uh, oh, it's good to say. It looks like a good wicket. There's going to be a lot of rain around as well. I think there's a, going to be overhead conditions. There's a little bit of grass on it. Looks like a pretty good wicket. Um, I think it might be a bit dry <laughs> underneath, which is what we're probably going to expect for the rest of the summer. Uh, oh, who it benefits most will be the one who plays the best on it. You know, that's not being a smart aleck. It's just whatever we're going to play on, the team who plays the best to win the Test match. When we, when we win three test matches, then I'll be confident we're going to take the Ashes back. So there's nothing you can do about what happened last week. There's nothing what we can, that we, we haven't won 2 nil yet. England haven't won one all yet either. So we'll just put all our attention to this test match and ask me that next, next test uh, press conference. But at the moment, it's one nil. It's four more tests to go. And uh, we're going to concentrate on winning this one. Big impact. Um, we know that back-to-back -back tests are always hard. Uh, we were lucky in the first test that our fast bowlers didn't have to bowl that much in the second innings. Uh, Nathan bowled very well, obviously, in the way the game panned out. Um, but it's certainly something that's on our mind. It'll be on England's mind as well. You've got to get through back-to-back -back test matches. That's why test series are hard, Ashes series are hard. So we're aware of that. What we are really fortunate at the moment, we've got six fit and healthy fast bowlers. I've been coaching for about 10 years now and I can't ever remember having that luxury. So, But it could change like that, so we're not getting carried away with it. But it is a nice position to be in. And you know, the fact that we had Josh and Mitch Stark on the bench last test match doesn't happen very often. So um, we won't get complacent with it. We'll just be happy or fortunate we're in that spot at the moment. Three more now, Lizzie, Sam and one other. Yeah, absolutely. We actually one of our game plans at the start of the summer. We knew and we saw how important it was. We saw how frustrating it was with England's tail in the first innings. It's the same with us. And we know that, you know, with a few different things, you always have the strategies. The strategies of every team will be the same. Then you've got to put it into practice. And uh, we've done that. We've been practising the boys. The bowlers have probably hit more balls in this series than they have in their whole life. So... 
hopefully it pays dividends. You can't just talk about it and not do something about it. So we're trying to put it into practice and hopefully we'll get rewarded for it. Yeah, I like when great players miss out. Because it means they usually, they're great players for a reason and he's got that look in his eye. Um, he would have liked to get more runs in the first innings, like a few of the boys, but he's, uh, yeah, I don't mind when, when really good players or great players miss out a few times. It means statistically they'll probably get some pretty soon, so hopefully it's this test match. Yeah, we're aware of that. Um, probably lessons from the past, and I, I, that's why you see often white ball and red ball specialists now, especially they get a little bit older. You see it with James Anderson and, and Stuart Broad, so um, we have to be aware of that. If they're on the merry-go-round, you probably don't see the best of them all the time. We've got the IPL now as well, so and, and we, we're all aware of it. It's just how we manage them all through. But he's, he's a, as we keep saying, he's a different beast and he's, um, he knows how to prepare, he knows what works for him. We've just got to make sure we give him, he had a few days off, he had three or four days off. So did Davey and Nathan Lyon and Pat Cummins, they came down to London for a few days. So you just got to, you got to recognise they're humans and they've got a certain amount of battery and you try and recharge them as well as you can for every big event.